my channel. So as you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be a little baby moon vlog and I am so excited to be vlogging this for a few reasons. Patrick already has his swimsuit on. I don't know if it's the Midwest in us, but it's like 64 degrees and I'm like, I wanna change in my swimsuit. We're in the Hamptons, um, so it's not like we're in somewhere like super tropical, but the weather is beautiful. We kind of spur of the moment, decided let's do a baby moon while we can. Um, I'm in my third trimester, so we didn't wanna go too far. So we thought the Hamptons was a beautiful place to escape from the city. So we rented an Airbnb for the first half of our trip and then we're going up to Montauk uh, and staying in a hotel that's more on the beach for the second bit. So I figured I would vlog because I feel like this would be really fun to look back on, but also I feel like you guys would really enjoy it uh, because we haven't done a whole lot this past year for obvious reasons. So this will be hopefully a fun vlog and I hope you guys enjoy it. So I'm laying out cute outfits because I want to take some cute more bump photos. You know, I'm trying to like really take all the photos in um, because I've always been told you'll never regret taking too many. So I'm trying to put together some cute outfits and lay them out and pack. It just makes my life easier and then I don't overpack. So I thought I would mention a few things that I'm bringing just right off the bat. Also, if you're a mom and you're very pregnant, um, these are going to be great for you. First things first, I'm bringing these dresses which I'm obsessed with. So this one I wore in my last video. This one is just so comfy. They're like these off the shoulder, flowy dresses. They hit right under your boob and they just kind of flow out. And that's what I've been loving right now. My belly is so itchy just from like the last final stretch. Um, and it has never been, like it wasn't itchy in my second trimester, but third, I'm like either belly out with just a top like this or flowy things and going off the flowy situation I'm bringing also this skirt it's just really easy to throw on I can just wear a t-shirt or something like this with it and I can just bum around so skirts like this have been really great plus they add a little support onto my bump so I love that I'm bringing a hat doesn't this feel kind of Hamptonsy? I don't know I feel like I haven't had a hat on in a while so I thought it would be really cute feels like it fits the vibe so I'm gonna bring it I am bringing a few Backyard Roses pieces from our summer collection. I am going to be either in labor, giving birth, or a new mom when this stuff comes out or some of this stuff comes out. Uh, so I definitely wanted to get a few photos in it before the craziness begins. Moving away from the cute outfits, the other things that I'm going to pack and that I want to talk to you guys about are undergarments, which are so crucial for me right now, especially in pregnancy, because comfort is key. So I'm wearing one of them right now and I want to talk to you guys about this new brand that I discovered called Naywai, which I'm really excited about. I had them send me some of their bras a while back and I've been using and loving and wearing them ever since. So I'm really excited to be partnering with them on this video. So huge thank you to Naywai for sponsoring this part of the video. I specifically want to talk to you guys about the Barely Zero collection, which like I said, I'm wearing right now, but I have duplicates in all of these because I wear them so often and they're so comfy, but I have it in a nude, which is just like classic, a purple and this like lighter purpley gray color. Why I specifically love these bras is that they're seamless, which the underwire, it's in the past for me. The seamless, this kind of like sports bra, really lightweight. You can probably tell just by me holding it up that it is super just airy, not, not heavy, not restricting. It is so comfortable. The fabric that they use is super high quality and it just feels like soft butter on your skin. It gives you the support but is not restricting at all, which if you guys watched my last video, you know I was talking about how Baby Boy is like loving my ribs right now. So if I had anything tight right here, it would be a no-go. So these bras specifically I've been loving. They fit under everything. Um, and they look amazing and they're seamless so you really can't see so under t-shirts sweatshirts things like that or just wearing them on their own like I am right now it's very easy their whole tagline for these bras are your size is the size which I really love for many reasons but particularly for me I think it's really great because 
with pregnancy, your body changes so much consistently that I, when I was shopping online for bras, I really didn't know what size to get. I didn't know how much my boobs were gonna grow in like the third trimester after and like all of that. So it was really great to be able to just get a bunch of bras that I knew were just gonna fit and hold my boobs the way that I want them to. They're definitely made to live in. So whether that's lounging on the couch, working from home, for me putting together the nursery, doing anything pretty much, um, these are my go-to. So I definitely am bringing these to lounge in and just relax in. Uh, but they have so many other things on their site too. So, so many different bras and underwear. I have some of their seamless underwear here, which are super comfy. Um, and again, go under so many different garments, which is great and they don't show. Uh, they also have loungewear. I have two pieces right here. I have this, which is like more of a knit style kind of sweatpant. And then this, which is a black pair. So super cute stuff, very practical. I will have a link in the description box below if you wanna check them out. Remember, it's not maternity. <laughs> you can definitely wear these, uh, not pregnant. They will fit for you. And uh, I really hope you guys like them. So again, description, we'll have a link for you. You can never have it up with the berries. <laughs> I saw this on the internet. The twisty thing? Well, not this. Uh, let's have someone roll a pineapple. And then you see one that like pops out and you can just pull them out. I don't know if that's true or not. Come on, internet. This looks like a good I don't know, man. It looks so satisfying. The guy that you, some dude just went like, it right out. I've seen that. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Anyway, this one didn't do it. I don't know what I'm doing. Doesn't work. Fail. So I thought I'd give you a little tour of our Airbnb because it is so cute. So this is the entryway, this little porch, and then you walk in to the living room, which is so cozy. I love how these hosts decorated. This room is my favorite room. This is like a little dining room bar area, but look at the wallpaper. I'm such a sucker for wallpaper like this now. I don't know if you want to call it like grandma or whatever, but I think it's so cute. Little bar, little candy station, which I can take advantage of because I cannot have any of this, <laughs> but yum. And then from there, you walk into the kitchen. Super bright, a little coffee bar over here. And then you walk into the hallway and to the right, this is where Patrick and I, we just picked this room. I don't know why, it looked cozy, but they all do. And then this one, we put our stuff in. This obviously sleeps more than two people. I think it sleeps six. So there's like a little day bed in here. Then you walk down the hallway, bathroom, self-explanatory. And then another really cute bedroom in here. And this one we haven't touched, so it looks exactly how it would when we arrived. We made ourselves a little fire, courtesy of Patrick, and I'm making a frozen pizza. Courtesy of Tess. Yes. Patrick's favorite frozen pizza is Jack's, so let us know if you've ever heard of that. It's a very, what, we used to eat it all the time in college. It's not expensive, it's no, like it's not. <clears throat> not fancy pizza at all, no, but they don't sell it anywhere in the city. No, not at all. It's, um, it's, a, it's a trek to find, but the reward's worth it. 
Mr. Man is moving so much, so he's joining us as well. Wonder if I could get a huge movement on camera. Kick twice if you're excited for pizza. <laughs> of course he won't kick. Let me try sitting. I just kick went to the once bathroom. If you're excited for pizza. Come on, kick. <laughs> he knows he is. Dang, it's like a whole basketball from up here. <laughs> he was moving so much when I went to the bathroom. It's like now, an around the world. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, little man. He's camera shy. <laughs> <laughs> with our fire aesthetic right now but it is a cake stand so it's a disposable uh, disposable pizza tray not disposable it's a cake stand look at how good that looks perfect did you make this yes i threw the dough Gorgeous Airbnb. Highly recommend. Super cute, super comfortable. Uh, so we definitely want to come back, maybe in August, if it's not too expensive in the in the heavy season that is the Hamptons. We came here in the off season, so that's a little bit of a tip. The Hamptons can be pretty pricey, especially for summer rentals. But if you come in like April, even May sometimes, um, and obviously anytime before that, it is much cheaper. Uh, but all of the houses are pretty expensive out here. So anyways, instead of going back to the city, we are going up to Montauk. So this Airbnb we were staying at was in Southampton. We are now going to Montauk, uh, and we were staying in this beachfront hotel, which we're very excited about. It was a beautiful day. It's beautiful weather. We really lucked out because April, you know, could rain the whole time. Could go either way. Could go either way. So we're going on a little leisure trip down the coast 45 minutes uh, to Montauk. So we will see you when we get there. We got bagels from Goldberg's, which Patrick has had before because he's been here surfing quite a bit. Just like a classic bacon, egg and cheese. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. It's every time. We've got a pretty great view. Oh, let me get rid of the window down. I mean, can't go wrong with that either. stopped at one of these road, road, roadside lunch spots. It's literally called lunch. We got a lobster roll and um, Patrick got a hot dog and it was pretty good. As you can see, the water is behind us. That's the water. Great view, can't beat it. So we're gonna sit here for the sunset with the fire our drinks. <laughs> 
and it's all backwards oh, and oh, that's oh, awkward. Okay. okay, just cheers me. <laughs> <laughs> We're so dysfunctional. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Out of my montage clip. Oh. <laughs> Actually, let's show them the menu. Let's show them what we're getting. Okay, no. hold on. <laughs> so, so, look how handsome you look. Okay, I'm done. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> so, they had a Monkey 47 gin, blueberry syrup, citrus ginger, juice, egg white. Monkey 47, one of my favorite gins. Followed by the, uh, the diplomat, Diplomatico rum. Can't ever go wrong with that. So, they have that Campari sweet vermouth. Can't wait. Um, what's the other one? Okay, so <laughs> Reposado Old Fashioned. It's just exa it's, it's an old fashioned, but like with Casamigos Reposado. It's gonna be a good night. Little man and I are enjoying our mocktail. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Patrick is over here loading some film, but we thought this morning we would come to the Montauk Lighthouse because we both have never been and it is very pretty. <laughs> so we thought, why not? It's very, very tip, tip, tip of Montauk. So we're at the very end taking some photos. We just finished going through the museum. We can't climb the actual lighthouse right now because of COVID and just it being in tight quarters. Plus, I don't know if I'd want to climb it right now, being eight months pregnant, so we're fine with this situation, but I thought I'd mention it in case you want to come here and do that. That's not open yet.